Robert of Gloucester's forces approached Lincoln. Their task, to liberate the castle from King Stephen's siege. While behind Lincoln's walls, troops loyal to Matilda held the castle for the Empress. First, Robert's forces would stage an ambush to prevent enemy reinforcements from joining with King Stephen's army. Oh. So the little foliage you can be sneaky in, but only scouts can see it. That's cool. I want to hold position. Which is... Uh, which button is it? Stand ground, staggered formation. That's not the right button. Stand ground. B. Yeah, let's not delete the unit. Robert's men concealed themselves in a sheltered grove and lay in wait for the enemy. I can't see anything. <laughs> I hope they give me vision. I guess they're going to come from this direction. Oh no, they have a giant star. I think. I need to wiggle this guy this way. No, I can't see. Uh, where are my scouts? There we go. It was just like a little bit of blocking. Wait, don't yell. Ah, go. It's just like burrowing my zerglings. Oh, except my scouts are dead. Here, uh, pull this scout back. He's kind of useful. Oh, that's interesting. So if you click on a unit here, you can individually micro it while it doesn't drop the control group that you have. That's very different, but actually really, really useful. Robert defeated the first huh. column of Stephen's reinforcements, but he knew more were on the way. That's why they call it an ambush, is because you chill out in a bush. Wait, if the ambush is coming from over here, why couldn't I just be in this bush again? <laughs> Why'd I have to go over here? It'd be super neat if spellcasters were a thing. Oh, I'm kind of happy spellcasters aren't a thing. Except for the funky monkey. He's a pretty cool guy. He wololos and doesn't afraid of anything. Oh my goodness, I wish they reinforced with cavalry so this would be faster. They're so slow. Um, you gonna come this way? It kind of looks like they're just gonna walk this way. Take the path around and I'm gonna feel like an idiot. <laughs> Please turn. Oh, I'm getting so worried. I'm gonna go. I... I <laughs> I don't trust this stealth ambush idea. Hey, look at that. They're just going that way. I got tricked. <laughs> Didn't it? Why does it say ambush site? <laughs> this is lies. <laughs> yeah, I definitely should have stayed the first bush. It would have been way better. It's okay. We're hitting the archers from behind, which is probably just as useful. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh no. Oh, there's th oh, there's a bush. Okay, all of the bushes say it. I thought it was like, here's your new ambush site. Change your location for, you know, role-playing reasons or something like, they'll know from all the bodies that disappeared into the... No, I'm so dead. <laughs> well... It is unfortunate that the first reset, like, I will take responsibility for it, but it does feel like it was not truly due to my incompetence, but due to bad instructions to some extent. I was really hoping that my first loss would be my fault entirely. Yeah, bad signaling. Alrighty, let's
Let's see how this goes. Can we skip this? Hold escape to skip. Oh, I like Robert. it when they do that. Yeah, that's cool. First, Robert's forces would stage an ambush to prevent enemy it's okay, we can speed run this this time. With King Stephen's army. Right. Bring out the boys. They come from this side first. So we're going to build up a line. Robert's men concealed themselves in a sheltered grove. I understand. For the enemy. I completely understand the idea of having these stealth bushes. However, it doesn't feel to me like you should be able to hide horses in it. You know? Make that an infantry and archer thing to make them differentiated. Because horses are not stealthy. They're horses. I know there's elephants in this game. Can you hide an elephant in the grass? Because if so, that's really dumb. Hey! Jerk. <laughs> Good thing my horse was stealthy. Whoa! Okay, well, they found me. I'm trying not to lose the scouts because they're the ones that have vision. And I want to be able to see the enemy. However, I have taken this fight really poorly. <laughs> wow, that guy was just hiding from the bush on him. They didn't even check his ID or anything. He's just a guy in a bush. You don't know. Okay. Robert defeated the first column of Stephen's reinforcements, but he knew more were on the way. Make sure we get vision. Scouts have really, really long vision range. Like, that's insane. I like it. I'm going to assume that gives the scout a lot of value as time goes on, right? Like, you should always have scouts in your army so that you can see what's happening. Come on, guys. I should use this ambush site this time. It really sounds... Like, the way that they speak in half English, half not, is really weird. And that sounds like they're, like, sentimentally reckless. It's, it's odd. Is that what they used to say, is sentimentally reckless? I don't know, I don't speak English. It's like my third language. Fun fact, I was actually raised entirely on Leet speak. Waffle Mao. Yeah, get out of here. Long bowman. Oh, no, keep keep getting out of there. I, I didn't mean to or taunt you guys into continuing the fight. I am running out of forces. Only 21 long swordsmen, which is not their name. Early men-at-arms remain. I'm just going to stick right here. Stephen's reinforcements eliminated. Robert was steadily undermining the siege. One thing that would be cool is, because this is the highest difficulty, if you had to, like, micro-defenses over here at the same time, that would be really neat. All right, where are you going this time? We're going to head into this one. I think they're coming up here, and then they're going to, like, swoopity swoop around. I'm not going to let them do that. Where are you, boys? There's a lot more longbowmen. They have 2-2 two, two upgrades. Oh, I have 4 armor. Look at that. These guys are so unkillable. We have hold position on. We're going to try to hit them right in the middle of their column. It, <laughs> we did okay. The fact the, the fact that they yell when you're trying to micro them in a stealthy position is so funny. It's like we we are being very stealthy. They will never find us. We are doing a great job. Am I gonna lose? Yeah, I am getting crushed. Interesting. Hmm.
Yeah, there's definitely been a big spike in difficulty here, probably because I can't just macro. Yeah, the archers are definitely weaker. It's, uh, part of it is I have a hard time parsing what is what. Everything kind of looks the same. Like, a spear kind of looks like a bow until they start firing. But maybe hitting the middle of the group is the wrong thing to do, and I should try to hit one of the edges first, like the back, and then clear from the back to the front. Robert First, Robert's forces would stage an ambush mm. to prevent enemy reinforcements from joining with King Stephen's army. I'm also just not a big fan of no-build missions, so... I lose them more often. It's a personal thing. I did mess up the first attack. Stop. I hate the position thing. The formation. How do I turn it off? Here, go in a line? Because I try to put them in a position and then they don't stick in that position. They like go into their formation or whatever and I don't, don't want them to do it. <sighs> like watch stop and then they just they set themselves up like that and it drives me nuts I don't like it okay let's hit the back oh that guy got owned here Oh, it doesn't work. I thought you could get back into the bushes to retreat, but it doesn't look like it. Alright, so the second one was also from this direction. But I want to be over here, I think. But he knew more were on the way. I think this area is garbage, this area is garbage, this area is really good because it's close to the road. Part of the problem is ambushing from a place that isn't near the road means you take a ton of archer damage. Then we hold position and try this again. So these are longbowmen. These are longbowmen. There's one spearman in the front and one spearman in the front. So yeah, hitting from the back seems to be exactly the correct thing to do. I was thinking that the middle would be the juicy core of archers, but it definitely isn't. Let's see if we can swing up here. The time to kill on archers is really high. They're a very durable people, which I did not really expect. The loud whistles and screams is from the scouts when they scout a unit. Yeah, but they're supposed to be hiding. It's just, that part is what I find very silly. I think that I'm doing better than I was last time. Stephen's reinforcements eliminated, Robert was steadily undermining the siege. So be at the end this time. And just admit that I'm not going to be able to get the units to be in exactly the formation I want them to, but this is close enough. I think this is stealth, but I'm not entirely sure. One thing I think that would make this, like, better, I don't know, if they had a brief amount of time that they highlighted the road that the next one was taking or something so that you didn't have to just reset if you got the wrong one. It feels a little bit silly that you have to reset. Hey, hey, no, crap. 
I thought I had everyone on hold position, but I guess I had all but two guys on hold position. Archer's in the back. Go, 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 go. I got kind of distracted that time. That's good. I'm going to try to get the horse in the front. Try to tank some of the damage. There we go. Because he doesn't do much combat damage, and there's not much scouting that needs to be done from now on, I believe. And now I'm pretty sure we've got this. What? They just started walking away. You can't really kite when you don't have a frontline, dude. Oh, they do have one guy. Well, they had. Come on. Are we going to lose again? Oh. I'm not sure what to do. Yeah, we're going to get bought. Ah. Yeah, this is by far and away the hardest part of the campaign so far. This is... I'm not going to say it's frustrating, but it just, it's not a fun section at all. And I do not have the micro heavy composition here. I don't have the archers or something, which I think would make it a lot more interesting if I were the one that could kite away. But I just have a bunch of dumb A-move units, which is, that's not my favorite. If I try attacking from the front of the back at the same time, it's kind of what I tried doing in the first time and it didn't work. Unit pathing in the fights feels weird. Yeah, I haven't quite figured out how the pathing works, but it's mostly smooth. But sometimes units do not quite go where I expect them to, and I'm not going to comment on it until I understand it. To prevent enemy reinforcements from joining with King Stephen's army. Okay. We'll try to hit from the front and the back, like people were saying. Robert's men concealed themselves in a sheltered grove and lay in wait for the enemy. <sighs> If it didn't take so long, I'd be more okay with it, I think. Or if I had more feedback, or... I'm just gonna have to make sure that I save a million times after finishing this segment, because it's... Ooh, it is not my favorite. I don't know what he said, but I'm pretty sure he said, There is Man Bear Pig. So hit the front and the back at the same time. Go. Try to pull back the... Nope. Mm. I think that's really it. I just wish I had something to do with these men-at-arms. They're so A-movie. That was an okay fight. Robert defeated the first column of Stephen's reinforcements, but he knew more were on the way. There's not really two bushes to use at the same time. I was thinking about that, but one of the bushes is always really far away from the road, which means that those guys are just going to get slaughtered. With all the numbers, it looks like we're playing Minesweeper. <laughs> Yep, there's two guys, there's two mines right next to this control group. Oh, we got visioned. That sucks. The uh, feedback for whether you are stealthed or not doesn't seem particularly great either. I kind of wish they had some sort of like eye thing on top of them so that you could see if a guy is stealthed or not. There we go. They're fleeing. They're being routed. Swing these over here. Try to surround. And I have almost exactly the same size as army as last time. 
I will tell you, the men at arms are very reliably average. Though more of them are men at arms this time. Robert was steadily undermining the siege. Okay, we're on hold positions. And I have no idea if I'm cloaked or not. I'm gonna hope so. Reliably average is what your girlfriend calls you. Uh, I know you're feeling. Trying to get the damage guys in the back. That should help, because if they're not taking the damage, I think it'll be okay. Are you kidding? The, the lack of feedback is so obnoxious. I, I thought I was stealthed. I genuinely did. And I'm going to die again. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Because I can't run back into the bush either. It doesn't work. Well then. That was even worse than before. What if I let one group past me? Uh, that feels wrong. I assume there's just a failure state later. Right, it, it's not like you're cloaked, but it abs if you don't have vision, I don't know how they had vision. There's just... Because all my guys looked like they had this cloaky thing on them, right? So this is the... Maybe they didn't, maybe there was one that just wasn't in the cloak area. But it really... I thought they were. Like, I tried looking and stuff, that's the thing. Robert's men conceal themselves in a sheltered grove and lay in wait. I don't know, it's probably me being bad, but this is really just not good design right here. Maybe there's a better ambush spot? Maybe. I don't think the ambush spot is the problem, though. It's that I just uh, don't have enough. I mean, I'm getting on top of them pretty quickly. So I'm going to make sure that I'm really, really, really inside of the foliage this time. And try to pull back damaged units. Doesn't really help. The AI is pretty good at target firing weak guys. Which is good. I'm going to save. Why doesn't this game have good auto saves? Robert defeated the first I figure any time you finish an objective, they should be giving you an auto save. Oh. Okay, well, that gave me a save. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is definitely the best bush for this one. Not sure about for over here. Oh, that was my save? Oh, so the, the save is... Let's try that again. Is this delayed? Yeah, that's kind of weird. 
Why wouldn't it save and then unpause? That's... That's really bad. You should stick in that menu during the entire save process so it's not confusing. Oh crap, they're getting away. Never mind. Bring these this way. And see if we can surround and execute. I think we're gonna do it this time. This is by far and away the best that it's gone because I haven't randomly gotten on stealth. You just have to be really, really, really far into the bush to make sure that things don't go randomly awry. Reinforcements eliminated. Robert was steadily undermining the siege. I still don't like the fact that they have the delete button right next to the hold position button. Yeah, save. And you save, you don't need it. It's very interesting. I can actually hear my CPU fan revving up when I save. Like, normally when it's playing, it's just, you know, either a dull hum or not even on at all, really. And then when you save, it's like... For a little bit. I do, in fact, use a race car as a CPU fan. Look at that guy. He's got, like, three stars. He is a healthy boy. We're going to hit these guys from the bottom. Mr. Nighty Knight is not going to get me. Because he is the strongest of all of the French. Please work. So these guys are going to swing up here. These try to focus on the horsemen. Get on top of the archers. And then pull over here. Hopefully they won't be able to kite because they're being hit from every angle. Yeah, it seems like if everyone's being attacked, the AI doesn't attempt to kite. Because they know that there's no one to run behind. Finally, thank goodness. Now what? decimated King Stephen's reinforcements. And were poised to break the siege. Continuing the push towards Lincoln, Robert sent in a large company of reinforcements to aid his vanguard. Why wouldn't you send them before? To further weaken the siege, Robert would need to cut off Stephen's supplies. He targeted the nearby market town. Ah, if only one more guy survived, my control group would be a lot stronger. Okay, we're going to head to the market town. I'm going to take Mr. Scout to check things out. Yeah, why didn't... Having these guys would have been really nice. Longbowmen. They definitely got heat-seeking missiles here with their... With their bows. Definitely want to go into the bush. I think we got their position really good right here, because we pulled the archers into the back for a bit. It didn't really change anything, because my archers fired very prematurely, but that's fine. Pull some of these here. Have a good one, Finlay. Move the archers up. The archers are not what I'm selecting right now. No wonder they're so unresponsive. <laughs> I'm like microing a single scout and I'm like, why don't my archers fire their guns good? Boom, boom, boom. Shift Q works here, right? Does look like it is proper. Yep, okay, cool. Shift Qing is a thing. 
Rallying to Matilda's cause, a large group of knights arrived at Lincoln to bolster Robert's army. Slaughter them. With the market town in ruins, King Stephen's supplies began to dwindle. Is there a way to... Is there a way to grab people Robert from a hawk? Robert word that Welsh troops under Matilda's banner were en route to join forces with him. I would really like a hotkey that King allows you to... the roads to Lincoln heavily guarded. And the route was not without risk, even for the hardy Welshman. A way to take someone off of every control group except for the one you're trying to assign them into. That exists in StarCraft and is really helpful. It might exist here, but I don't know how to do it. It's like... Control... Control shift? No. Control alt? Control shift alt? Alt F4? Oh, nice militia losers. Actually, the spearmen did a lot of damage to this knight. Making their way to Lincoln, Matilda's Welsh allies were ambushed by the king's soldiers. <gasps> Not the Welsh, we have to save them. To aid the Welsh if they wanted their help in breaking the siege. They pronounce things so funny, we have to go aid them. I'm gonna split up like this. Yeah, like, maybe if we were supposed to be raiding these archer-based caravans and we had the knights instead to run them down, that would have been cool. And it would have worked thematically because the knight is supposed to be the anti-archer. But I don't know why they decided men-at-arms was supposed to be the thing we were using there. It just, it was... This is not an ambush site. <laughs> if we had gone there earlier, it would have been terrible. Matilda's allied troops made for the castle to lift the siege. It feels like they just wrote a thing that puts ambush sight in every single patch of grass on this entire mission, which is just incorrect. Oh, you're not going to join us? Alright. I guess we don't have good Welsh friends yet. They're keeping their distance. <laughs> Thank you, Ace. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you had enough random letters in your pretend Welsh city, though. It was only you mashing the keyboard for about 10 seconds. You need about 30. So I'm going to chill with the Welsh. As you do. Oh, can we go into the ambush site? Do they follow me around? Or do they just walk down the path? It looks like they just walk down the path, and I'm not fighting without them because I'm incredibly terrified of this mission. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah, put your archers in the front. That's good tactics. Robert's forces spotted a large detachment oh, no. of Stephen's soldiers guarding the castle gates. They have those things. I don't remember their name. To liberate Lincoln, they would need to break the blockade and rout the army. All right. This is going to require some tic tacs. Wait. Oh no. There's a bunch of spearmen behind the things too. This sucks. Go. We are not stealthed in here. But we are charging. Get upon them. And we charge down because they built their sticks in the wrong neighborhood. I think we'll be able to take this out. Oh, we gotta take this thing out. Springfield is really strong. One nights. Oh, look at this thing micro. That guy's fast. Well, that was kind of fun. I like that. Robert's forces scattered the king's army, leaving the gates to the castle unguarded. Open sesame. Thank you, sesame. 
Now shot. do we get a base? Robert's men finally united with Lincoln's garrison. <laughs> they could now use the castle to strengthen their army. To lift the siege, they needed to destroy the enemy camps surrounding the castle. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was just very funny. I liked it a lot. Oh, uh, where? What do I do? Where's my money? Here's my money. You guys are villagers? Not a whole lot of, like, economy in this little place, is there? A council hall. Builds archers real quick. They have the palings. They're the western, central, and eastern camps. I have a feeling that those, uh... What are they called? These guys! No, not the emplacement. How do I build them normally? Network of citadels. Increase the network of citadels attack speed bonus. No? Yeah, right here. Found it. These guys are going to be really good. We're going to blast them. And then where is a farm to build? Farm, farm, farm. It's not where I wanted it. <laughs> it's not where my thing was at all. But all right. Oh. Oh, they got seven guys in there too. You gotta be real careful. Thank you, Aid Xenostar, for the sub. How do you get guys onto the walls? Do you like need the siege tower for it? Oh. They just like... What? What is happening? They're bouncing. We got a lot of bouncy boys. Oh my gosh, this looks horrible. It just, it looks dreadful. There's no animation, they just teleport up to the top. How could that be the way they want it to be? I don't like that one bit. Oh, is the encampment an actual, like, base? It might be. I have a feeling that I'm not supposed to be engaging right here, and I am. I'm doing this far too prematurely, and I'm going to die as a result, which is not uncommon. Here, let's, uh, siege you up. Oh, never mind, I'm gonna beat this. Yeah, it's just the real question is whether they rebuild their forces or not. And then we can build knights, but we're not going to. We're going to build more of these guys. What do they cost? They cost gold and wood. So food is useless. Why would we feed our people when we could gold them? I love listening to these people say weird stuff. It really sounded like they said, your Dende has been leaked. How could you leak Dende? He was the, one of the least useful Dragon Ball Z characters. Yeah, it does look like I can just shift Q these guys to... Oh! Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I don't want to fight that. Come on. Oh, no. Good thing we can teleport up and down these castle walls. Or did they just teleport archers onto the with the siege tower? What? Why? Don't do that. That's not how you do tactics, boy. I have way too much food. Maybe I do need knights. No, but they cost gold. Oh, horsemen cost like pure food. Look at that. We're going to clean this up. The allied archers are going to do a decent job here. Oh, but they're coming again. 
I need to kill the seed tower so they can stop getting onto my place. What? <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, what is with this mission? This game was really polished and feeling really good until we got exactly here. And now just everything seems like it's falling apart. This is very interesting. Is this as far as they thought the reviewers would get? So they worked really hard on it and they're just like, oh, it's fine now. There's no way anyone would ever go past this when making a game review. I mean, they're probably right. I like these. Oh, another attack. This is a mana 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 mana. How do I build more castles? I definitely need more of them. They're pretty good. Uh, palisade gate, stone wall, stone wall tower, arsenal, keep. A thousand rocks. All right, we need more rocks. I probably shouldn't be fighting outside. The rams don't do much damage against stone, so I'm not super concerned about them. No, I don't want knights. I just want horsemen. Can I build horsemen from, like, a stables? One thing about older games is it's a lot easier to parse exactly what buildings are what. As games look better and better, I have a harder and harder time actually figuring out what I'm looking at. I don't know if anyone else has that issue. Things just look a lot more samey. Oh, I'm losing a lot of stuff. Oh, no! back. Yeah, send the horseman right into the spearman. That's a good strat. These guys... <laughs> oh no, they're trying to proxy more siege things. What is happening? Oh, this is chaos. Where is a horse? Not a house, a horse. Barracks. Arsenal siege workshop again. Oh my gosh. It is impossible to find a horsing facility. Literally, humans do not have the ability to do it. Okay, after this next attack wave, I think we're going to be able to clear this. Oh, look at that. It can't move when you hit it, I think. Either that or just gave up. I think I need men at arms. They would be pretty good. But I... Getting uh, confused. Barracks. Men-at-arms. Go. So the one tower is the men-at-arms house. Or the hardened spearmen house. I guess spearmen are what I actually want. Is this a bug? I don't think this is supposed to stop when you hit it. Yeah. The AI just gave up for some reason. And I think if we pull this back, the central defenses are going to be cleared out. A lot of horsemen. And then a new lumber mill. Theoretically, I could tear up. Theoretically, I could build a castle, but the level of aggression just implies to me that I shouldn't yet. Oh, these guys are being attacked again by this tower. Oh, we could put a Springfield on this one. And we could upgrade. Destroying one of King Stephen's siege camps. Oh, I thought I had enough stone for a castle. I don't know what I spent it on. I don't know. I'm just kind of clicking upgrades at this point. Oh, I built it on one of these guys, didn't I? 
and it's almost done. I think it's going to be worth it. It's got more siege weapons incoming. So he... Oh, it's set up. That sets up real fast. Whoa, no, 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 no. Broken through the sturdy walls of Lincoln Castle. Not that sturdy. Those loyal to Matilda had to ensure that the keep did not fall. More siege weapons. Do I have another siege workshop somewhere? I know I do. It's just can I find it in a timely manner? Here it is. Wow, they are aggressive. They are so angry that I took out one of their dudes. I'm like macroing off six or seven production facilities right now, and it's barely enough to hold this off. I like it. Once again, it's probably because I'm being a dunce and not fighting behind walls like I'm supposed to. I think being a dunce is okay. I'm trying to keep all these alive, and I'm not sure that it's going to happen. They've really gutted my front line here. How much gold do I have available? 3,000 still. That's pretty good. Run, run, run. This tower is about to burn down. That's really bad. I'm trying to get the rallies over here. The Eastern Camp is not really losing anything, which is interesting. I thought that the aggression would be less when I took the Central Camp down. That's why I went for it so fast, but it does seem that that was incorrect. I really need to get all my stuff together. I don't need a town center. I do need upgrades. I haven't been getting those. Oh, these guys overkill really hard. Now that I'm actually watching what they're doing? Maybe I don't want them. Maybe I need to get some of the other catapult things instead. My army's starting to get pretty big. I've gone up about 25 supply in the last couple minutes. During constant fighting. Which I think is solid. I'm gonna queue up these upgrades. Get this hot keyed. Get that hot keyed as well. And I probably need archers. Oh, we can make funky monkeys. Yeah, let's do that. What was I doing? I need to build archers. Take down their siege weapon. There we go. The archers are so good in this game. I don't know why you build anything else. They just slaughter everything. Oh, here we go. This is good against groups, right? Yeah, that seemed pretty good. Let's get another one. Very slow to fire, though. Another attack wave. Running out of food. What takes wooden gold? Well, oh, these do. Oh, he got confused. Where are you going, Siege Tower? I'm not sure what's going on anymore. They're just charging in and doing whatever they can. Are you building? Longbowman. And then try to work on the food economy. Boiling. No, it'll take Archer. But I need... Uh-oh. I'm out of gold. How do you build farms? Uh, mining camp, lumber camp. Farm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to be faster about this. 
I don't care if it's efficient. I just need speed. Keep producing. Keep getting these siege weapons going. I don't know how these guys are getting up here, but whatever. We're starting to clear the eastern camp. Then it'll only be the western camp remaining, and I think I'll be fine at that point. Archers. Archers. I've wanted archers for a really long time, and I haven't been building them. Longbowmen. Supplies going up. Problems going down. Yeah, we'll put one of those defensive implantsments here and here and here. Spend all my stone that I was originally going to be building on other stuff. And we need to build a couple granaries over here. Mills. So that we can actually return that cargo. Otherwise, we're just going to be out of money. Eastern camp is halfway done. We have, like, nothing melee at this point, which is actually pretty nice. And we find the siege works again because I've unhotkeyed them. We've got Mr. Man with the spear just chilling out, watching. All right. I'm starting to feel pretty good. I don't want to draw correlation, but it does seem to be... As Matilda's forces struck down another siege camp. It does seem to be the exact moment that I started building a large number of archers, I instantly started winning. And the big problem I was having at the beginning of this mission was when the enemy had archers. Are archers OP? Mm, I don't wanna... I don't wanna say so, but they definitely feel very good. They're just kind of like ranged melee units in terms of their quality. These catapult dudes are pretty sweet. They do a ton of area damage. Yeah, we're just going to crush through this one. No gold, no problem. So, these are good, but I should not waste my time at home. I wish we had unit stats. I would really like to see how much damage and how many kills and stuff these have actually got. Holy crap! These do a lot of damage. Oh, that's cool. You can see they're firing right here. It's... No, it's not in white. Yeah, it is in white. Like, you can see how long it takes for them to recharge their shot. I like that a lot. Alrighty, we have done it. That was quite the siege. King Stephen was spotted, oh. shielded by his men. To end the siege, Matilda's forces needed to capture Stephen and rout his army. Alright. I mean, if he's coming to us, I am not going to complain. Come on, Steve. Stephen one shot him. We cannot. Stephen has 700 HP. Where's my everything? I need to build it. Oh, dude, I had a million guys over here. Retreat. Pull back to the place with a giant hole in the wall. That'll protect us. Teleport to the top of these walls and defend yourself. Oh, Steven got that wicked regen. Look at that. Steve, fight me. I don't have any resources. Oh, dude. He be sieging. Try to get some spearmen over here. What else can I build? Crossbowmen seem like they could be kind of good. There's a lot of armored units here. Try to get the castle to help out. 
They've split their forces, and they're doing a decent siege over here, but because they split their infantry into the walls, they're having a hard time keeping everything together. I'm going to be able to splinter them and win, I believe. If they had kept everything together and had microed a little bit stronger, then I would absolutely be out of luck here. Then again, I probably would be in a fine position if I was doing anything competently, so... That exists on both sides to an extent. Like, I don't even have my upgrades. And we've been in this mission for like 45 minutes. And I've been intending to get them, I just can't find the buildings for them for the life of me. If I can take down these... M Maganels. Man go Manganels. Oh gosh, there's people that are so angry with me right now. If we take down the catapults, we'll be fine. Oh wow, they die fast. And once again, the AI is doing that thing where it just kind of chillaxes there for a really long time that I do not like. It feels like they intentionally put it in because they knew that things were really difficult. But it just feels wrong. Maybe I'm just thinking too much into it and it's a complete accident. But how could their aggro radius be so, so tiny? It just, it makes it feel like I'm not getting the true combat experience. I, I'm okay getting murdered, as long as it's cool. There we go. He's angry now. I talk smack about him a little bit too much. All of his horsemen are going to die. He's doing a good job at hitting the archers instead of the spearmen, but now he's out of stuff. Oh, dude, he hits hard. Alright, well that was harder than every other mission in this campaign so far, Matilda's combined. Men closed in and finally captured King Stephen. Though we didn't actually lose during this part, so maybe it just has the illusion of difficulty, but because we have such incredible defenses, I never was going to be broken? I'm not sure. Matilda's forces had won the battle at Lincoln, but the fight for the crown was not over yet. That was a cool mission, though. The beginning sucked. It was so bad. But the actual macro part, when you had an army, that was... It was good. Victory over King Stephen at Lincoln gave Matilda the upper hand in her fight for the English crown. But in the years that followed, fragile loyalties shifted. And under threat of capture, Matilda was forced to retreat. As her holdings in England came under attack from the king's army, it fell to her son, Henry, to keep Matilda's claim to the throne alive. Matilda and Stephen's battle for the crown would all come down to Wallingford. Well, there's going to be walls, we know that. Matilda's army could hold the castle, she could restore her claim to the throne. Henry, Matilda, Henry. I mean, there's always another Henry. That is how a lot of English history works. 